Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update, and there's a little bit of breaking news if you want to put it that way. There's definitely some new stuff to talk about. I'm not sure we'd stretch it out to breaking news, but the National Hurricane Center as of 4 p.m. on Monday is now uh, putting out the advisories for potential tropical cyclone two and this is the area of, of disturbed weather out in the Atlantic that tropical wave that they've been monitoring monitoring for quite a while had as high as a 90% chance that it would develop and finally they're getting enough ser serious enough about this particular spot that they'll for sure think it's going to turn into something this way they can issue all of their uh, advisories that, and that includes of course that forecast cone uh, and this again tropical wave currently out or the low pressures out in the Atlantic uh, as it continues to move through the next several days. It will uh, become a named storm and then it will be tropical storm as it moves through just the very southern portions of the Atlantic and into the Caribbean. And right now it does look like by the time it gets to the end of the week, some conditions would increase its strengthening somewhat enough that it might end up being a hurricane by the time I, I think even as early as Thursday or Friday because by Thursday our official track here puts it at 70 mile an hour sustained wind. So when we get to the end of the week, basically Thursday and Friday potential there for a hurricane and we'll continue to watch this. So again, this is sort of that new area uh, that's being tracked by the National Hurricane Center potential tropical cyclone two. now that's going to be uh, currently located here where our red X is on this map, that tropical wave where it is. Remember, it's going to keep moving forward. Well, even behind that further out in the Atlantic is another area that they're keeping an eye on and the outlook says a 20% chance in the next five days. So really the message that we're getting here is that things are definitely becoming a bit more active out in the Atlantic and this would be the area that that next system perhaps could develop into something tropical much closer to the continental US and especially for those of us here in the Houston area. We are watching this broad area of low pressure uh, and the potential that it could develop into a named system or even maybe just a tropical depression uh, over the next say five days. I don't think it's very likely that it would happen over the next couple of days, but it could get enough organization. Again, it, it is a low pressure, but it's very uh, unorganized and it's not having enough characteristics that it would be considered a tropical cyclone, but it will be bringing some rain all along the coast. So let me show you one of the our computer models to kind of give us an eye on that. And you can watch our winds here as they try to sort of get a little bit of a circulation built. But as we look into Monday night and into Tuesday, we keep the rain chance chances going and again you'll notice how at this point just for a little bit you begin to see enough organization that maybe it could begin to get organized but as you move on through, then it seems to want to break up just a little bit. But no matter what, you're watching all of the green, right? Get thrown in to the to the coast of uh, Texas there. And then eventually even some darker shades of green. And maybe you saw a little flash of yellow there indicating those heavier downpours. Rain stays in the forecast for most of the week, which is good news for us here in southeast Texas. So right now, the National Hurricane Center has potential tropical cyclone two. Remember that it would become a tropical depression and keep that number two. If it becomes a name storm, a tropical storm, then it would take on the name of Bonnie. So we'll have to see, you know, the current forecast certainly has it doing that, maybe even becoming Hurricane Bonnie. So that means the next couple of names on the list, Colin and Danielle, will begin looking for those as the next possible name storms. In the Pacific, just real quick, Cecilia is still out there. It is currently a tropical storm, maximum sustained winds at 40 miles an hour. It is going to continue to move out into the Pacific and continue to fall apart as it does so. So it's Celia it does not look like it's going to be around that much longer as we continue to watch maybe some sort of systems forming closer to the Houston area and the, just the continental US in general. It'd be great if you wanted to connect with me on social media. I'm at John Dawson Fox 26 Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm all there and make sure you get that Fox 26 weather app downloaded. All the tropical information is included into that as well. You'll be able to track any of those systems, whether they're near or far. And of course, you can find that at your favorite app store.